hi friends and a warm welcome back to my channel i'm glad to see you once again in today's new video so today's video is going to be quite interesting i'm going to be trading on otc currency pairs and i'm going to use the help of bollinger band indicator but obviously i'll be carrying out technical analysis first because fundamental analysis doesn't work on otc currency pairs i'll use technical analysis first then use the bollinger band indicator signals to make very good profit today and hopefully i'm able to hit my go by the end of this video so stay tuned and also i'm inviting you to join my private chat in telegram channel this private chat will be very useful for you if you would like to join go under this video there is a link that link is a link to my personal chat right with the code word money team and i'll add you to this private chat or you can find me in telegram using this username join this private chat ask all your questions use my trading signals to make very good profit and also interact with the other members of the group so i'll be waiting for you to join and also don't forget to support this channel and the only way to do that is by giving this video a thumbs up don't forget to share this video to your friends and family because i'm sure it may be useful for them and also don't forget to subscribe down below to this channel so let me show you how to activate this indicator and use the signals to make very good profit so in order to activate this indicator i'm going to click this button in the upper left corner and i'll select from the list bollinger bands to adjust this indicator i'll press this and here you can see i'm going to set the period as 14 in the upper column and in the lower column i'll set the period as number two and here i'm going to click the save button and you can see that now our indicator is ready to work so as you can see the indicator consists of the upper and lower border as well as a moving average that's the indicator sort of highlights the price in a certain channel for example if there is a downtrend the price mainly moves at the bottom of the indicator at the same time the moving average will serve as a resistance line from which the price can bounce and move down and also for example in an uptrend the price mainly moves at the top of the indicator and at the same time the moving average can serve as a support line from which the price pushes off and moves up so at the same time when the price moves sideways it pushes off from the upper and lower boundaries of this indicator that's here we can understand the approximate boundaries of this price movement also there is another example that is when there is such a pattern when the price impulsively goes beyond the indicator then in such cases it's most likely that after an impulse there will be an upward movement a pullback in the opposite direction will occur similar to this when the price impulsively goes beyond the lower limit of the indicator it is more likely that a movement in the opposite direction will occur that is if you understand when the price goes beyond the indicator it means that it is more likely that the price will want to return to the channel in the near future and also this indicator helps us to determine the approximate range of price movement of course i want to warn you that this indicator can give you errors you have to carry out technical analysis as i always emphasize technical analysis is the basis of any trade so it won't give you errors such as the indicators these indicators are just auxiliary tools for technical analysis they're just to help you find good entry points but you have to carry a technical analysis first look at how price is approaching the support level the resistance level and also other patterns on the market before using the indicator signals so let me work out my first situation so just at this moment you can see that the price is steadily moving down at the same time you can see that it impulsively goes beyond the lower limit of the indicator so here i'm going to open a trade for one minute i'm going to open it for a raise and since we can see that the price impulsively approached the support level and it went beyond the indicator it is more likely that a reaction will occur from the support level as well as from the lower limit of the indicator i'm sure that there'll be some kind of corrective movement movement here and the pullback will be in the opposite direction so as in such a rule one minute is enough for such situations so let me wait and see the results So as you can see, there was an upward pullback and I made very good profit. So one minute was enough time for this. I was able to make very good profit from this trade. So let me find my next situation. 
So as you can see in this case, I'm thinking to open an up trade for one minute because I can see that there is a support level at the bottom. At the same time, I can see that the price confidently approached this level and I can see that the price moved beyond the lower limit of the indicator by impulse. You can see that only a red candlestick was formed here and immediately after that you can see a green candlestick began to form and this is where I immediately opened a trade for a rise because it's most likely that in the near future, both from the support level and the lower border of the indicator, there will be a reaction and the price will fall into the correction zone and a pullback will happen in the opposite direction. So this is similar to our previous case. So let me wait and see the results of this trade. So this is quite awesome. As you can see, the price pulled back up and I managed to make very good profit from this trade. So let me find my next entry point. So here we can see that at the moment the price is approaching the upper limit of the indicator at the same time you can see that there is a certain level of resistance at the top this trading case is similar to the previous one only that now we are working on the resistance level you can see at the moment there is an upward momentum here so here i'm going to be opening a trade down because it's likely that after a confident upward movement the price will fall into the correction zone and there'll be a pullback in the opposite direction that is if you understand that the reaction will come from both the resistance level and the upper limit of the indicator so in such cases there may be a slight movement upward as we are observing right now you can see that green candlesticks have continued to form but as a rule in such cases one minute is enough for this trade and it's likely that the red candlesticks will begin to form in the near future so let me wait and see the results of this trade So this is pretty good. As you can see, there was a reversal. Red candlesticks have formed here and I made very good profit. So one minute was enough time for this. And this indicator really helped to determine the price range. So let me find my next entry point. So here we can see that there was a steady downward movement and at a certain point you can see that there was a reversal and the price is moving up. As you can see the price is approaching the upper limit of our indicator. So in such a case I'm thinking of opening a trade for two minutes down because it's most likely that a reaction will occur from the upper limit of the indicator. The price will push off and continue to move down because the price here has an excellent potential for a fall. So in this case, this indicator helps us to determine the upper limit of the price pullback and the boundary from which the price is most likely to push off and move down. And in a similar case, we took the time to spare, taking into account that if suddenly the price falls into the trading zone, for example, the price may move up for some time, but it's likely that after a confident pullback upward, after the formation of the confident green sticks i'm sure that a correction movement will occur but let me wait and see the results of this trade so this is quite awesome as you can see the price moved in the trading zone you can see that there was a fading and the price stopped for some time the closing point of our trade turned out to be lower than the opening point and this means that i was able to make very good profit here perhaps in this case i should have opened a trade for three minutes instead of two minutes then would have probably got a more confident trade here because right now we can see that the red candlesticks are starting to form but in any case i was able to work out the situation on the correction movement and make very good profit so let me go on so here we can see that there is a down trade going on at the moment you can see that the price is approaching the upper limit of the indicator so in such a case i'm going to open a trade for one minute for a fall just at this moment you can see that a red candlestick has begun to form and it's most likely that the price will continue to move towards the support level which is below as you can see there was a reaction from the upper limit of the indicator and thus the indicator helps us to determine the approximate range of price movement you can see that a certain price channel is being formed which helps us to further analyze the price movement so this is how we find an advantageous position to make very good profit so let and see the results well, this is great as you can see the price pushed off from the upper limit and continued to move down i managed to make very good profit on this downward movement so let me go on again my next trade 
so here we can see that there is an upward movement and the price lows are getting higher at the moment you can see that the price has pushed off from the lower limit and is starting to move up and you can see at the same time there is a certain level of resistance at the top so it's most likely that the price will move up from the lower limit since here we can see that there has been a dumpling in this zone the price stopped and the price starts to move away from this zone so here i'm going to open a trade for three minutes for a rise because i think that the price will continue to move directly towards the resistance level so at the same time i open the trade for three minutes with the margin so let me wait and see the results so this is quite interesting as you can see the price continued its steady upward movement this is where we are able to make very good profit you can see i managed to make very good profit on the breaking through of the resistance level so in such a case you can see that the indicator really helped to determine the lower limit of the price pullback and the boundary from which the price pushed off and moved up it's very profitable to open a trade to increase on an uptrend thus here i was able to combine the indicator signals and technical analysis and i was able to make very good profits so let me go on. So here we can see that there was a confident downtrend. You can see that there was a reversal from a certain point, and you can see that the price pulled back up. At the same time, you can see that it approached the upper limit of our indicator. And at the moment, there is a sudden fading. You can see that the price stopped. So I'm suggesting to open a trade here for three minutes down because it's most likely that in the near future the price will continue to move in a downward trend that is from the upper limit of the indicator a reaction will occur and the price will push off from it and move down so i opened the trade for three minutes because i'm taking into account the possible trades that may happen of course as you understand in such a case the most advantageous position would be to open a down trade and at the same time the indicator really helped us to determine the upper limit of the price pullback but let me wait and see the results of this trade So this is excellent as you can see the price continued to move down and here i made very good profit i managed to make money on this downward movement so three minutes was quite enough time here this indicator really helped us in analyzing the market again so let me continue and find the next entry point so here you can see we have the resistance level from above you can see that at the moment there was a breakthrough of the resistance level and the price is moving up at the same time, you can see it's approaching the upper limit of the indicator and a certain attenuation occurs. So here I'm going to open a trade for one minute for a fall because I think that in the near future, after breaking through the level, there will be a correction movement and a pullback in the opposite direction. So as a rule, in such cases, one minute is enough for this trade. So let me see the results. This is awesome as you can see the price really pushed off from the upper limit of the indicator and light down you can see this is where i was able to make very good profit on this trade so this indicator really helped me to determine the upper limit of the upward movement and you can see that i was able to make very good profit so let me find my last trade for today let me find something interesting so here we can see that at the moment there is a downtrend price is moving in waves and on the next upward pullback the price is approaching the upper limit of our indicator at the same time you can see that the price goes a little beyond it so in such a case i'm going to open a trade for three minutes for a fall at the same time you can see that the overall price potential is going down you can see that the mean price highs are getting lower it is most likely that a reaction will occur from the upper limit of the indicator the price will push up from above it and move down that is the downtrend will continue to exist so i'm hoping that in this case three minutes will be enough time for this trend so let me wait and see the results So this is quite excellent as you can see the price continued to move up a little more but after that there really was a reversal the price pushed off from the upper limit and began to move down and there was a good confident red candlestick that began to form i managed to make very good profit on this downward movement so three minutes was enough time for this trade and you can see that now my profit is 13,000, and i would like to stop here for today so as you can see i was able to hit my goal for today and i'm quite glad 
As you can see, trading on OTC currency pairs is not difficult at all. You can apply technical analysis on it and you can also use indicator signals to make very good profit. You saw that I mainly carry out technical analysis before using the indicator signals because sometimes they can give you errors and I always advise you to carry out technical analysis in all your trades. Practice it a lot because it's very important in all trades and if you want to make very good profit as well. And also if you have further questions concerning today's trades, I'm ready and willing to answer all your questions i'm inviting you to join my private chat in telegram channel there i answer and reply to all your questions if you would like to join go under this video there is a link that link is a link to my personal chat Rhyme me with the code word money team and i'll add you to this private chat or you can find me in telegram using this username join this private chat ask all your questions also use my trading signals to make very good profit and also interact with the other members of the group so i'll be waiting for you to join and also if you like today's video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to share this video to your friends and family and also don't forget to subscribe down below to this channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when there's a new video up. So thanks so much for watching. Until next time and good luck in your trades. Bye bye.